Hi, this is Jennifer Jalo Gatt of JennifaSpeaks.com. Today I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up your blog for the first time, which includes purchasing a domain, um, purchasing hosting, creating your first blog, and then also personalizing the blog to pick a theme um, that suits your personality or suits whatever you're, you're doing. Now, so the first thing you do is you go to DreamHost.com and you get started. When you get started, you're going to see it's going to give you the option to choose your hosting plan. Shared hosting is the cheapest one for $9.95 a month, and it comes with a free domain. And that's, your, you know, if you're just starting out and um, you purchase it annually. So this, this is $9.95 a month. But however, if you purchase it in one, um, as, you know, up front one year, you'll get a free domain, which I recommend. Um you do. Uh, if you do a monthly, I don't think this free domain goes away. You have to purchase the domain. It's not going to come with it. The this benefit of this plan is it is shared hosting. So if you're just starting out, you don't have much traffic, this should do just fine. You get one or more website, unlimited traffic, fast storage. This SSL is really important because nowadays Google will not rank or push up your website or share it with folks if you don't have an SSL certificate. The SSL certificate essentially tells everyone on the web that you're safe, it's safe to drop to, to browse and you won't be gathering information. There's aren't malicious things on there and essentially give people sort of like an insurance and it comes with it free. A lot of other sites like GoDaddy and other sites will charge you for an SSL certificate and additional money, uh, additional amount of money on top of your hosting. So the fact that your SSL is free with host is great. So anyway, so you click what you want you want to get and then you, you log in. So I'm already logged in. Um, so it's already logged in for me. Now the, the, the first thing you're going to do is pick a domain. So um, you go to this site, this page that says manage domains and you pick up your domain name. So let's say you are a pottery club. So you say mypotterymaking.com. So, this is checking. If it's available, then you can add it for eleven ninety five. Again, if you pay annually for your hosting, that eleven ninety five is going to come off. If you're playing monthly, you're going to have to pay for that eleven ninety five. It's going to auto populate for two years, but you can switch it down to one year to bring the price down. And you proceed to check out and you purchase it. After you purchase the domain, it's going to tell you your the domain has been purchased. Go to your website and check to see if it's if it's online. So here is my website, and then when I purchased, um, so you may let you go back to the purpose of showing you how to do this. I purchased this domain called, um, I purchased a domain called the Gatlin's Club, you know, Gatlin's dot club. So when I purchased the Gatlin's dot club, my email comes here. It says, uh, what is it? it says um, domain registration order. So it tells me. My order is confirmed. Again, see, it's going to be free because this is one year registered. Um, so there's no cost to it. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to get is verification that the domain is up and ready to go. Or it may tell you that it takes two days to propagate the domain. I did this. It didn't take two days. It took like a couple of hours and the domain had already populated. Um, so, so that's that. So you do that. The next step you do is actually to create the website. So you go to goodies. And you go one click install. It's the quickest way to install our domain. So you go one click install. And um, there's different um, platforms around available. Um, Joomla's one, but the most popular one, the 95% of the websites, not just blogs online, including like Us, Us Weekly and various different um, the most popular, well known websites that you may go to, including new sites that all use WordPress. So you might as well use WordPress. So you click WordPress and you. Um, Click one, click install. You hit one, WordPress again. Okay, when you click one, click work. Then what you're going to do is your domain that you already purchased is going to be listed in this drop down menu. You click the drop down menu, you select it. So here's Gatlin's Club. And then you hit install it for me now. Once you do that, it's going to automatically install it. And it's going to give you an email. It's going to say, check your email to see when the website's installed and you're working on it. So that's what I. I don't know why it's not going back. Okay, here, then I actually installed the Word site in here, success installing WordPress site. So here it tells me you're successfully installed your Word site, WordPress site. Um, you can click here to change the password, which I recommend you do. Otherwise, you can have your default password. I've already changed that password. And, there you, and then you're installed. And then what happens after you install it, when you click the site, this is it. 
thegatlings.club.com. I can also change this instead of saying www.gatlings.club. You have the option to say that if someone types in gatlingsclub.com, it'll, it'll work as well. It will automatically go to www.thegatlingsclub.com. Don't know why it says not secure. I have to change that. Anyway, so that's that. So you get your first website. The next thing you do after you do that, it, per your instructions, is going to tell you how to um, log in. So it has your logging information. So I'm going to use JunaBuzzSpeaks.com with login. I think I can use. I know I'm to use Yahoo. I think I can use this. I'm not sure. Okay, so if you don't get it correct, you're going to get that. I'm going to go use the old one here. Um, oh, I got the website set the domain. But like I said, let's change the password. <laughs> Reset the password. I'll get back. I'm gonna change this in after I log you in just to show you the system administration. So bam, okay, so you put that in and you're in. So when you purchase your website and you get this domain, you're gonna get this option. You can go through this process of customizing your site. They they do this for you, or you can pick another theme. So um go to themes here. And you see there's lots of various different themes. All of these without a price or it gives you the option to activate are all free themes that you can you can just activate. Um, there are other ones. I think these are pre-installed. Pre yeah, these are all pre-installed. So, um, so pre-installs gives you options already for a lot of people. You know, this is like a nice one if you're going to, you know, you preview it, live preview. So it tells you what it looks like. Oh, that's the website. Um, I like this one here. Um, is this one good for you? It just kind of looks already pretty already. So you don't have to do much. I think this is the one. Yeah, you, you're going to put your image here. This is your first blog post. This is your name. It says just another WordPress site. You're going to change it to your name here. There's a sample page. Um, they give you the menus, options to change and add the different menus. Um, you can change the different colors. You know what you want. So you can totally customize your site after you get it. But you activate, don't put activate and publish. Once you hit activate and publish, it's going to actually activate and publish that site for you. Um, but anyway, so that's essentially it. Right now I have this one is active on the site. This is what's the current theme. Um, if I want to customize it, I can. I'm going to customize it. I can, I can change the site identity. So instead of just another press site, I can call it Gatlings Club. And if I want to, instead of just another WordPress, I want to say um, our fun kids club. And you see, as I type it, it changes it right there. And if I want to change this image from this image to another one, I can select image. There's nothing in the media library now. I can go upload it and select an image. That's I don't know. This is just some, this is a random image from my site, you know, TMRI. So it gives you the option to crop it. And I think that uh, oh, that's my site icon. Okay, that's just a site icon. That's not the actual website. So if you have a logo right there, you upload your logo, and your logo will go on top. So that's the site identity. And then colors. Um, this is a light theme. I can switch it to a dark theme. That way all the, the, the pictures and everything will be black, white on black. I recommend black on white because a lot of times it's really hard. And clean themes are better. Or you can custom and have your own color that you want, which is red. You can do whatever you want to do. Anyway. So that's that. And then menus is you can have um, social links menus. So you can have a custom link. So you put your, your own Facebook page here. Um, if this is a restaurant, you could put your, your Yelp account, your Twitter account. Put all those there. And then your, your social, uh, your social um, 
menu, you can add it to the top of the page, and so people can connect to all your sites. Um, so uh, top menu is of these items that see home, it's home, about, about, blog, blog, connect. So you can have those pages. Um, if I want the social links menu on top, I can change that. And so instead of that, it'll have the um, it'll have the social menu, social stuff is there. Social sites. So let's say I did um, set of Instagram. This is Jay Jay Jet and Twitter. I do Jay Jay Jet and Facebook. I did Flash. Okay, so those those will go. Let's switch it to go to the top menu. It'll, it'll just be the top menu. But anyway, so I don't want to take too much time on this thing. Anyway, so here you can just function, make it functional. You have various different theme options. You can add a front page, a contact page. You can make it right now it's one column. You can make it two columns. Uh, if you make it two columns, I mean it'd be two pages. You could do a lot of different things. You could just play around with it. If you go to Fiverr.com, you can get someone to, uh, if you have an idea of some other site that you've seen before you want to replicate, you can ask someone in Fiverr.com and have them design a page for you. So let me see if I'm already logged into Fiverr. Sign in. Let's continue. So you can go um, WordPress design, website design, search. And for, let's see, you can put your budget. So let's say your budget price range is five to twenty-five dollars. It'll give you folks who are willing to build your website for between five and ten dollars. So if you're not comfortable doing this yourself, you can hire someone to build your website for you using Fiverr.com. I'm going to include a link to Fiverr.com here as well, so you can get use Fiverr. Website, website, and then that's it. It's simple. And then in less than like a day, you can set up your website, get someone to design it for you. If someone, a lot of these people would do it in um, in a couple of days. You see, get it by tomorrow. So in one day, you can you know you can set create a domain, set up your website, and have a nice pretty website and ready to go, and you're ready to start blogging. So that's it. I hope that was a helpful tutorial for you. Um, this is Jennifer Speaks from JenniferSpeaks.com, and good luck everyone.